What's up everybody, welcome to This Week in Blade. It's your big homie Biz. Here's Josh Jeter with a perfect top star from the new Too Easy IG edit. I give him a lot of shit, but this was fire. We're talking blading here every single week, so if you're new to this series, consider subscribing and following. Also, like this video and share it with the homies. Share it with your mama, your daddy, tell them to share it with their coworkers, everybody. We're gonna start this week off as always with these products, baby. Rollerblade teased the new soul system this week, and I think some new skates. I mean, I know they're solos, but I think they're ready to make a comeback. These One Piece souls are still in development, but they're looking for your feedback. Hit them up on IG, but don't be rude. Fucking do rude. Are you kidding me? Sven's testing them out in a new edit with Chaz Sands, and it's incredible. You need to check it out. It'll make you mad that they're much older than you and skate a million times better than you. I might be projecting a little bit. I'll give you updates when I learn more, but for now, just be juiced that Rollerblade seems to be working. I made a mistake, as I often do. The Adapt release isn't a limited run. No, no, no. It's actually the complete opposite. It's five new skates. Yeah, I really messed that one up. Two aggressive skates, the Brutal and Rival, two hyper skates, the GT and the GTO, and the Super Legra. It's like a Rolls Royce of rollerblades. Look at that lineup, ain't it pretty? Yeah, I suck, but now you have all the info. Look at you, being all informed and shit. Last bit of product news is probably my favorite product news. Cause I'm just so happy for the big homie. Intuition Skate Shop is opening a second location in Santa Monica, Southern California, baby. I know I was jealous of the East Coast last week, but we got it going on in LA too, and the weather is great. Matt Mickey posted these photos of him signing the lease in rollerblades. It's baller ass shit. Intuition has now become a chain skate shop, so if you want to get a franchise, you better hit him up now. New shop is opening April 2020. I'll give you information on grand openings, any kind of events they're doing, so just keep it locked here. Intuition guys are having a good month. Dare got a pro skate, second location. Better keep this momentum going. You never know what's gonna happen. That's gonna do it for products. Let's get into these events. Yeah, we have to talk about it. It's unavoidable at this point. Winter Clash. You know that amazing competition that draws skaters from all over the world? Except for me? Some amazing skating went down, and since I wasn't there, I can't really speak on it. So I enlisted some help. Hola, bees. My name is Ricardo Lino, and I'm a wheel addict. I'm gonna be reporting about the Winter Clash that just happened last week, and that just came. That's why I'm using my official Winter Clash live stream garments. That's why I also got all these masks here. That's like the stuff that I use for the live stream. Anyway, that doesn't matter. What matters now is that I'm going to tell you what exactly happened at the Winter Clash. And let me start by telling you about the Ang Losers Bowl competition. That was wild. Like that bowl competition, it's, it's different. It's not like the rest of the Winter Clash. There's no pros, there's no amps, there's no nothing. There's like some boards coming up saying, just fakey, now backflip, now 1080. And they did 1080. And the guy that did a 1080 first try was the winner, Diaby Jaco. I never know how to say his name. I think I'm saying it right. Diaby Jaco. Yes, from France. He was the winner of the Ang Losers Bowl competition that happened the first day. Then, let's talk about the rest of the competition. Let's talk about the rest of the competition and let me tell you the results. In amateur, the third place went to Nils Rinas from Germany. The second place went to Stefan Zelders and the first place went to Sven Ischen. And you might know Sven Ischen as the guy that presented you the, the USD Shadow Skate, Eugen and his best friend, which is also a negative killer. That guy can do not just negative, he can basically do all types of tricks. And at the Winter Clash, he basically just showed it, and that's why he won. He can just tell you that he did the biggest gap to negative porn that I've ever seen. Can I say porn? Should I say star? Anyway, that doesn't matter. Then juniors, in juniors, we had Samuel Obst in third place. Second place, we had Simon Simicki. Am I saying it right? Simon Simicki. And then in first place, 
just like the blading cup straight out of japan noburo katayama if he killed it at the blading cup well progression keep happening <laughs> in japan and they just won so noburo took the first place in juniors and in girls well the female brosco as the guys from the winter clash actually called her patricia nadia from poland she came from slalom skating into aggressive skating into the third place of winter clash she skated completely different she was doing lots of toe rolls and she's actually really good she took third place then in second amel c or amel armel tsl i don't know how to say it i'm sorry if i'm saying it wrong but she was doing 540 true topsails yes a girl was doing a 540 true topsail transfer like from the quarter pipe to the flat bank like a long one perfect super nicely locked okay she's coming look oh. she just did it perfect and then the first place again from japan just like at the blading cup went to shihiro azuma and again i don't know what they put in that Japanese skaters water, but they did skate really really good But the water was not good enough for any of the Japanese skaters to win the pro competition Because in the pro competition the third place went to Dominic Bruce and Dominic skated very very good He didn't land his last trick, but he did land one hurricane top pass it like a disaster hurricane top pass it like a huge gap into top pass it and that hurricane top pass it gave him the best trick award from this competition there was a little bit of talking because some people thought that this best trick award should have gone to bobby spasov who did a huge like a massive 180 transfer over a rail but the judges decided that the first place in the best trick competition and the third place in pro should be from Dominic Bruce. So Dominic Bruce, third place in pro and best trick competition. Then in second place, Nils Jansen from Latvia. He skated super, super, super good and he could have won. He didn't land at his last trick, but if he had landed his last trick, he probably would have won. The same with Diaby. Diaby Jaco also didn't land at his last trick and still won the Winter Clash. So none of the first, second and third place in pros landed the last trick, but the rest of their runs they skated so good they took first second and third and that is it so if you want to see a little bit more about what happened at the winter clash i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure that bees is going to put the link of my live stream in this video so watch the live stream and cheers bees see you later enjoy the show of course i'm going to put the link to your live stream in the description of this video lino I got you, man. A live stream that good needs to be shared with the world. I mean, the world already saw it, but they need to watch it again. I'm also gonna stuff as much Winter Clash content as I can find in the description of this video as well. Google's gonna think it's spam, but that's a risk we're gonna have to take. In other event news, Skate for Autism is happening Saturday, May 23rd at Bob Rohde's Cycling and Fitness Park in Bringsingville, PA. That was stressful to say there's going to be a 5k skate skate park session and a best trick comp if you're in the area or able to get to the area make sure you go to support and make your skating for something you feel me all proceeds go to the autism society of lehigh valley the website to sign up or donate is going to be in the link of this video after the slew of winter clash stuff i'll put it in bold or something pack up your big wheels and grinder blades and make it out there Okay, that's gonna do it for events. Let's get into these videos. Nobody left a team after Winter Clash, right? We're good on that? All right, cool. I can't, I can't deal with that again. Every time Rich Breeze goes to the Netherlands, he puts out an edit. And I like that edit every single goddamn time. Rich has a couple maneuvers up at Winter Clash and at some of the pre-clash events happening around Holland. His skating has just been leveling up since the past year. He's got two different color skates and all the channel grinds you could hope for. That's that shit I do like. Make sure you check out this edit for sure. Wall Ride True Top Soul was amazing. I'm gonna try that now. Just you watch. The trilogy has been completed, ladies and gentlemen. 
Justin Brasco and Butter TV have come together for the third installment of Justin's NYC edits. The Crash is high key the best of all three. When you see it, you will know what the hell I am talking about. There's a ton of good tricks in here because Justin has just never missed a step. This gap over the rail was so high, I thought it was never coming down. And then this kind grind was not kind at all. It was aggressive, aggressive in light skating. His ender, he drops to, I don't even wanna say it. It's filmed by Butter TV, so you know you're gonna be able to see everything clearly in the highest definition. Cuz, and I'm not talking about this crippin', is an encore to the Tate video and it has a whole lot of swag. And the homie's just doing cool shit. Yeah, I'm really getting short on these description words. I'm gonna need a thesaurus. Swag is the correct term when you see this damn lineup. You got Marius Gale, swag. You got Patrick Ritter, swag. Mike Swag, I mean Simpson, swag. And more, what's not to like? Make sure you check this out if you wanna get the juice. It's 14 minutes, so you have some time to settle in. Sam Crofts shows us that you can do anything in big wheels, if you're Sam Crofts. I just don't get it. How does anyone Royale in one tens? That's not how this is supposed to go. Sam's got a new promo out for his Apple and Pears V2 wheel from Undercover. Usually they give aggressive wheels to aggressive skaters, so you know, they can skate aggressively. But I guess if you're Sam, you can skate anything aggressively. It's just not fair. I mean, it is fair because he worked at it and now he can do it and I don't do anything besides eat. Okay, that's gonna do it for videos. Let's get social, cause that's what we should be doing right about now. Anthony Marcion filled some clips for Basement this week and they're insane. As soon as you see Basement above the video, there's gonna be some intense swag coming your way. Either get ready or get the hell out the way. I don't know how or why or what discussion was had, but this mistrial, gap mistrial, was really tight. Northside Joe was in Eindhoven for Winter Clash. And while the comp was going on, the homie found time to completely dismantle this box. Next year, both of us are going and fucking up this spot. I don't wanna hear any excuses. If you don't know Levi Sebastian, you're about to get to know him right now. This is your introduction. Hi, me Levi Sebastian. The Hit It Wet crew was able to catch some of his morning glory at Soma Skate Park in San Francisco. It's a lot of stuff I just said there. For him, this is just his daily routine. For you, this is what you've been training your whole life for. Okay, I think that's gonna do it for this week in Blade. Make sure you like this video and comment your favorite news below. As always, make sure you're following bladerunion.com to keep up to date with everything happening in the blading world. They also have a Patreon, so if you wanna support them or this show directly, hit that link in the description. Also, make sure you're following my link tree to get all the TWIB updates, skating, and a bunch of other stuff. I'm having my 2020 comeback season, and it's going really well. For this week's Ender, this is what happens when Kenny goes to Friday Night Skate. It's really cool. Ha 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 ha!